Okay, welcome along to another one of Artisan Infrastructure Bite Size Demos. Uh, in this demo, we're going to demonstrate how to prepare your virtual machine for vFiler access. So the virtual machine we're going to use in, in this demonstration is SQL1 and we can see by our maps that SQL1 is only currently connected to uh, the internal LAN network which then can see out to the internet using the VADA. Uh, so first things first we're going to edit the uh, virtual machine. We're going to add a network adapter. We're going to then add that network adapter to the vFiler port group. Uh, you'll see one of these once you've been uh, provisioned with a vFiler. One of these is automatically added to your account. And this gives you access to your vFiler on a private network and a private VLAN for iSCSI connection. Once that task completes, we can refresh our map. And we can now see that the SQL server now can see an additional network off the back end of that. So what that looks like in an overview is this uh, virtual machine uh, with its VMDK uh, virtual disks living on a private data store which in turn lives on a vFiler. And then in addition to this uh, we can use the Windows iSCSI initiator to connect directly to the vFiler to provision additional LANs which gets us around the performance issue of virtualization and wrapping that data up inside virtual disks. So the last steps is just to configure the VM itself. This is the SQL machine of remote desktop to that. We'll take a quick look at the network settings off this uh, adapter here. This is the additional one we've just added. It's got a static IP address. It's in the same subnet and same network as the uh, vFiler is. It just needs a single IP address and, uh, and a network mask. And we're just going to confirm that we've got connectivity to our vFiler at 10.10.52.51. This is our demo vFiler. Your IP will be different. Please uh, obtain that information from your documentation. So that concludes basic connectivity to the vFiler. Uh, take a look at our other videos for how to install SnapDrive and how to connect to the vFiler and provision your LANs. Thanks.